Alright, so what's going on guys? My name is Chopper and welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, we're guys, we're going to be talking about some really good stuff that just happened for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, as you all are well aware that the new progression system update has just come out and been patched into the game. However, there was a couple uh, problems and bugs that came with that patch, but DICE has been absolutely on this and most of them have been resolved. There's one that we're going to talk about still is unfixed that uh, I need to let you guys know about. But other than that, I want to show you guys all the new stuff that they've uh, been on. Now, as always, if you end up enjoying the video, then be sure you do leave a thumbs up on it. We'll aim for 100 likes on this. That would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you are brand new to this channel for more Battlefront 2 updates, live streams. It helps me out greatly. With all that being said and out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, I think one of the most valuable hot fixes that came with this is the fact that you guys may have noticed that some of your favorite blaster heroes or these specialist classes were moving a little bit slower than you're used to them moving, you know what I mean? And that wasn't just in your head, that wasn't just a trick or you weren't just making that up in your mind. That was real. They were moving a little bit too slow. They were meant to balance out with the saber heroes, but it was physically impossible for any of them to escape and making lightsaber heroes very overpowered. So that has now been fixed and they're all moving at their correct movement speeds now. Another nice fix is that some of the Interceptor class star cards had their rarity levels swapped on the cards, which is a really, really weird glitch. I don't know how that ended up happening, but if you notice that some of your cards weren't right on your, on your Interceptor classes, that's why and that has now been addressed, which is really cool. And another really big issue that people were running into, personally, I didn't experience this at all, but some evidently were black screening. As soon as you select a hero and try to get into a game, the, the screen would just go black and you would not spawn in. And you guys can let me know in the comment section if you had that uh, particular glitch happen to you, because I never did, I never got to see what it looks like, but I guess that was a problem. But there is still more one one more issue that hasn't been fixed, and it's a heartbreaking one, because this, this hits near and dear to my heart, but Darth Maul's lightsaber throw still has not been fixed fixed. If you're running mall right now and you feel like your aim just sucks when you throw your saber, you're not getting any hits at all. Don't worry, it's not you because you guys are going to see in some upcoming gameplay here how broken it actually is. I think since this new quote unquote break that I've only had a successful hit maybe like two or three times. So essentially what the problem boils down to is that Darth Maul's lightsaber throw literally does not connect with enemies. On the very, very slight off chance that it does, then you'll get your, your regular amount of damage dealt to that enemy, but it just doesn't seem to connect anymore. And I don't know how that ended up getting broken it seems like whenever a new patch comes out for this game and you know something else gets fixed something else on the other end of the chain gets broken and that kind of makes sense how the way game code works but you know you add in one thing or you put in something else and it has the chance of breaking anything else in the code as well but I'm just, I'm just sitting back thinking to myself, like, how did this get through? You know what I mean? Like, did, did nobody test Maul's lightsaber throw and, hey, you know, this thing doesn't work or it's broken. It literally doesn't hit enemies. It's kind of weird. And if you invested a lot into upgrading, uh, you know, just completely maxing out his cards, then you might be a little disappointed. And just like I was, because I have all this stuff level four and uh, it, it's kind of heartbreaking. I really want to patch so I can keep playing with Darth Maul. But right now I have like no motivation to do it. But on the other end of that coin, the thing that gives me a lot of hope is the fact that this patch that we just got came out so quickly after the new progression update. They identified the problems, they put it in the known issues, and they rolled out a patch very fast. Now, in the in, in the past, I guess you could say the reason for their delays, the, like their delayedness when it comes to things like this, is the fact that the progression system was taking forever to develop and refine and make sure it's ready for the game. So that was consuming a lot of development, I'm sure. And they can't really use that as an excuse anymore, so I feel like they're going to have to roll out a patch really soon and if they do then we're going to be most likely getting constant updates with constant new things to this game like we've finally been needing you know what i mean it's been at this very stale and stagnant point for a while but i'm hoping that changes really soon and this is a huge step in the right direction so i'm going to give dice a lot of credit for this one as far as other game breaking issues go that's really about it like darth maul's saber throw seems to be the biggest thing but uh there's also one more thing that they did mention, the fact that some people, when they open their cosmetic crate to get that alien head, wasn't coming up, but it would still go to their inventory. Like, nothing would come out of the crate, but they would have it, like, in their invent, they could apply it, which is a little weird. So, that's not technically an issue if you can still find it, but uh, it is what it is. So other than that, I think the heroes are pretty balanced. The classes uh, seem to be pretty balanced at this point as well. And I'm really happy with the state of the game. Aside from the, the really weird combat ruling system, I honestly, this might be the unpopular opinion of the day, but I, I prefer the old one. I don't know. It just felt a little more consistent than to this one. And it made Heroes versus Villains especially a better experience. I wish that they would keep the HVV combat role back to like the pre-patch one and then have the regular Galactic Assault in the rest of the game where it is right now. I just feel like it makes more sense that way, but I don't know. You guys can let me know your opinions on that in the comment section down below however dice has made really good changes to this game i'm pretty proud of him for, for doing this and i hope this kind of constant flow of updating communication can continue 
And yeah, we should probably expect some more content coming this game about, I don't know, maybe a month or two from now, or we actually get a new season with some new heroes and stuff. I don't know, but at, at least this is a huge step in the right direction where they should go. And of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated if anything else does come out or there's anything that you guys should know of in this game. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, then be sure you do leave a thumbs up. It does help me out greatly. Subscribe if you are new to this channel. And uh, other than that, guys, I will see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Peace out.